welcome back to another Destiny 2 PvP guide, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about a Jir Falcon's Hauerberg build that you guys can utilize in the Crucible. This chess piece is currently one of the strongest chess pieces in the game for PvP. And I'm going to be showing off a weapon perk that you guys can utilize that actually stacks with the exotic perk of this chess piece. So you guys can be doing an insane amount of damage in the Crucible. 100% cheese. 100% awesome. So Guardians, let's get into this. The Jir Falcon's chest piece comes with the exotic perk, See Me, Feel Me. Your weapons gain a bonus to damage briefly after you emerge from being invisible. When you're invisible, defeat a combatant using a finisher. You and your nearby allies gain a reserve overshield and improve class ability regen. These reserve overshields can be deployed by using a class ability. So this weapon boost is going to give us a 15% increase in damage to our weapons. And as you can see in the footage, I'm using the Rat King exotic sidearm we're doing 51 to the head and once i get the Jiro falcons weapon damage boost we're doing 59 to the head that right there on its own is very useful in the crucible but it gets even better when you pair it with another weapon perk called disruption break this perk states that breaking an enemy shield with this weapon makes him more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period and this debuff gives you a 50% increase in weapon kinetic damage. When you get the Jir Falcon See Me Feel Me perk to proc and you break an enemy shield with Disruption Break, you're going from 51 points of damage to the head all the way up to 88, which means when you pair this with the Rat King, all you need to do is land three crits to down a Guardian, and you can actually down a Guardian with four body shots. And I believe 88 points of damage to the head with a Guardian around 200 health, that's a 0.45 second time to kill. And it's gonna be even faster because you're already gonna be getting the splash damage from the grenade launcher. So most of the time, you only need to hit him with one bullet. My friends, this is amazing. So Guardians for the build, we're obviously on the Night Stalker, we're going to be utilizing the vanishing step void aspect so we can go invisible because this build is all about being invisible. We've got the Rat King exotic sidearm. So after we get a kill with this, we'll go invisible off of this as well so we can get that damage boost to proc. We've got the Truth Teller grenade launcher with disruption break. If you guys don't have one of these, you can actually craft an explosive personality and you can choose disruption break. Also a very good grenade launcher. We have 100 mobility so we get our dodge back all the time to go invisible and we're stacking two utility kickstart mods so that way when our class ability energy is fully expended we gain class ability energy so we can dodge even more and that's pretty much all you need for this build i'm gonna jump into the crucible to show you guys how this performs if you guys are new here need more destiny 2 in your life don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content follow me over on twitch if you guys want to hang out more and i'll catch you guys in the next episode All right. Not today, Satan. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> zone A lost. Enemy has zone advantage. Oh, fifty nine to the head. Oh, sixty two to the body. What? Oh, we almost got him. Not today, Satan. Oh, let's go. 63 to the body, Jesus. <laughs> oh, 
Thank you. Take that. <laughs> One eighty five. Jesus. Oh no. Don't be lost. They have advantage. Get the fuck out of my way. Teammate, you deserve that. <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> I got sniped, but dude, that was a direct hit. Spike grenades. Kill. <laughs> Any more kills that I can steal, I'll take them. <laughs> 